Hi, I'm Miley Oye, and I work on Google's Webmaster Central team. What I'd like to present are five tips to help your site be better crawled. So my first tip would be to make sure that you have a strong site architecture. This means that your URLs are all going to be reachable from your home page and then also from a child page back to your home page and then back from one product to another. So that's important site architecture. My second tip would be, um, I would say, is to make sure it's extremely important that all of your content is indexable. And indexable means that if you have textual content, that the text is actually in plain text. It's not hidden in a video or hidden in an image. Or if you have important image content, that you're using things like a, a alt tag to specify to search engines what your image is about. Or if you have great video content, that you use something like video sitemaps to make sure that your videos are indexed well. So first, strong site architecture. Second, make sure your content is indexable. And for my third, I would say to check crawl errors in webmaster tools. They will tell you when a URL was unreachable or when we found a 404 or not found page on your site. So by correcting those, you can make sure that users from either your own site or from external sites, when they click on a link that leads to your site, can actually get to the content that they want. So again, checking crawl errors. Another great thing about crawl errors is that we also give you crawl error sources where we'll tell you if there's a 404 where that link actually came from on the web. So you can even talk to that webmaster and ask them to correct that link or you can 301 redirect that page that was, um, an, say, a typo to the correct URL. And in that way you bring users and you bring search engine ranking signals to the correct version, uh, to the correct URL on your site. And then my fourth tip would be to use Fetch as Googlebot. That is a feature available also in Webmaster Tools. And with Fetch as Googlebot, we can actually perform a request exactly as we do with Googlebot. So you can check to make sure that we have proper URL rewrites, that um, if you're rewriting URLs, that we are seeing that properly. You can check for response codes. If you put a 301 on your site, you can make sure right away through Fetch's Googlebot before you know you roll out to more of your site, you can check and make sure that we're also following those redirects properly, that you're giving them correctly to us in the request. Where do you go to fetch, get fetch? As fetch as Googlebot? That is in Webmaster Tools under the Labs feature, as fetch as Googlebot. So again, I think that's my, ne my fourth tip would be to use that. And then for my last tip, I would say my last tip would be about um, fine-tuning your crawling. So for fine-tuning, I would mean about disallowing stuff that isn't going to be useful for uh, searchers. So disallow any type of, um, and you'll see this also perhaps in crawl errors, pages that have um, like a shopping cart and you might have to be putting that in your URL. Shopping cart URLs people don't want in search results. They don't, users won't probably find that useful. They actually want products, not the shopping cart. So it would be something like disallow things that won't be useful in search results. Um, another part of that for fine tuning would be also to use URL parameter handling in Webmaster Tools to help better tell uh, Google, here are the parameters that are important on my site and here are the ones like session ID that really don't change the content and aren't important. So again, just recapping the five tips, if I can remember. Uh, strong site architecture. Make your content indexable. Uh, third, check crawl errors, crawl error sources. Fourth, use Fetch as Googlebot. It's a labs feature in Webmaster Tools to make sure we're following rewrites and redirects. And then last, you can always do some fine tuning by disallowing content that won't be useful to searchers and to use URL parameter handling. Thanks. Thank you.